What is going on everybody? This is Stryker, welcoming you to another vlog. So first off, let me say happy Thanksgiving. I know that this video is a couple days late, didn't come up on Thanksgiving, I didn't have like a Thanksgiving special in any of the series that I do. But anyways guys, hopefully you had a wonderful Thanksgiving, hopefully you, you got to spend it with family. If you didn't have family, then you had friends. If you did it by yourself, then hopefully it was a BA Thanksgiving. And that is an acronym, if you know what I'm saying. But hopefully the food was bountiful and that all of you enjoyed it. That's speaking for those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, for those of you who are elsewhere in the world or do not celebrate Thanksgiving, hopefully you had a good weekend. But that's why I missed the past couple of days of uploads is because I went home to visit my family. It's about a four hour drive and because I've got my three younger brothers and my parents and stuff like that, there really isn't a whole lot of time to record, especially because now that my brothers are getting a little bit older, they're staying up later. So yeah, makes it very hard to record. I didn't bring my microphone, I left my boom arm, which you can see over my left shoulder here. Um, so yeah, that was what happened this past weekend. And now let me tell you, this is about to be a rant. So buckle up your seat belts right now. I don't have a problem with Amazon at all. Their support has been great except for this one time, right? So I have Amazon Prime and I ordered this tower right here, this right here to be delivered, okay? I'm building a PC, so I will put all of those pieces parts down in the description below if I do remember to put all of my pieces there. That way if you guys want to build a PC of your own or whatever, you can use those, you know, you can build what I built, you can upgrade pieces, whatever. So anyways, I ordered this case. Two day shipping free because I have Amazon Prime. So day five, my case was supposed to arrive. I get that Saturday and Sunday were a weekend, but that still was day I ordered it and then two days after, right? So that, it should have been there. For sure, right? So UPS tries to deliver at just afternoon, and they said, well, we couldn't get you at your residence, so we just took your package. So first off, I work like normal people. You know, I work a first shift job. You know, I work from 8 to 4, Monday through Friday. And that's it. Fantastic, right? So duh, I wasn't going to be there when you rang the doorbell because, well, I was at work. Two, why didn't you just leave the package at my door? I don't know why either. If you can hear my dog eating, it's because my dog is eating. Three, I live in an apartment, and then I live in a building, right? And that building is part of a complex. So why couldn't you have left it with the leasing office like you have before? Don't know. So I contacted Amazon support while I was at work on Friday because it was, or no, Wednesday. On Wednesday because it was supposed to be there Wednesday. And it didn't show up. So I contacted support. And they said, okay, well, I will have them re-deliver it, and I promise you will get it by the end of the day, right? Promise, 100%. I said, I'm just worried, like, can you tell them to leave it by my door, leave it at the leasing office? They're like, no, I promise your package will be there. Okay, 10 out of 10, my package will be there. So I get home after volunteering at the Humane Society, and my package wasn't here. My case was missing somewhere. Gone. I didn't even have a note left that said, hi, this is UPS. We tried to contact you, blah, 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 blah. So I contacted support again. And Amazon support got in contact with UPS, and then UPS said, okay, what's your phone number? Once we track down the package, we'll give you a call, and then we'll have you come pick it up. I said, absolutely, you know, even if it's a half-hour drive away, which it was, um, I, I, you know, I'm more than willing to go and pick it up. So, that was the initial idea. So I was hoping that I was going to be able to pick up my freaking package, that way I could build my computer, and then leave early Thursday morning, and go home to visit my family for Thanksgiving. So, they said, within an hour, you'll get a call. Hour goes by no call. So I got on back with Amazon support and I said, hold on. Hey! You done? Are you, are you done? Mm-hmm. Anyways, so I got on back with Amazon support and they said, okay, well here, let me try to get UPS for you. 40 minutes on hold. I sat on the phone for 40 minutes on hold before they came by and said, oh, well, UPS said that they tried to deliver, uh, but you didn't pick up, so they'll just deliver it the next business day, which would have been Friday when I wasn't here. So I said, no, get, the, get them on the phone. The whole point of this was to get them back on the phone so I could talk to them, which I don't know why they bypassed that in the first place. So I finally got in contact with someone from UPS again, and they said, okay, well, it says here in our system that they tried to contact you, didn't have an alternate contact, blah, 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 blah. I said, okay, well, the, your facility is a half hour away from where I'm at. I'm going to get there about 8.20, in, right, in the evening. I said, now what? Can you call them and tell them that I'm going to come over, or can you, like, tell me if it's still there? Can I still pick it up? I was like, what do you, what do you, what do you think? What do you say? 
He's like, well, because I'm part of like the main branch or whatever, if I call them, then they wouldn't necessarily call you back, so you wouldn't know. So I said, okay, what should I do? And he said, you should probably just go and see if they have your package. So I drove a half hour to pick up my package. Will you stop scratching your collar? Oi! Stop it. We just got back, so she's itchy, I guess. Uh, so I drove the half hour, got there at 820, and I caught somebody coming out who was not wearing a UPS uniform. He had some other uniform on. I don't know what it was. And I said, excuse me, is anyone still inside? I was told to come pick up a package. And he goes, no, they left at 8 o'clock. So I was told that I could pick up my package through 8.30 p.m. by this guy who, like, manages the whole branch or whatever. 8 o'clock, everybody left. So my package was just lost in the catacomb somewhere. So then on Thursday in the morning prior to leaving, I contacted support again, told them, you know what, whatever. Obviously at this point you guys have screwed me over, this has been a huge waste of my time, huge waste of my effort, waste of my gas. Just have it re-delivered on Monday, because that's when I'll be there. It's Sunday, and look what I have over my shoulder. I have my case, because apparently even though it was supposed to be re-delivered on Monday, they delivered it on Friday and it sat here all weekend with the potential to be thefted. But, nonetheless, that gives me a chance to build my computer, so you guys will see that coming up here uh, probably tomorrow. So that's exciting. And it actually does have a couple of features that I didn't think it was going to have. Um, it's matte black entirely. It's got a actual mesh dust filter on the bottom. And then, what else was there? Oh, the vanity plate behind the expansion slots. So anyways, that's going to wrap up my little rant. Screw you, UPS. That's all I got to say about that, and that's going to wrap up this video, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.